Thank you very much for yeah, this. Yeah, thank you for all the emails on that. Badgers, badgers be gone. Right, OK. Uh, Brittany... <laughs> You've been saying them all morning. I know, I had to get you it in it. some way. <laughs> be I just be gone. Right, OK, uh, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> it's a few minutes to nine. Uh, Britney Spears, you two and Pink are just some of the stars who've sought the musical talent of our next guest. Producer William Orbit has had a string of hits, most notably his collaboration with Madonna on her Ray of Light album. Now, though, William's taking a break from the A-listers to work on an album of his own. We'll talk to him in a moment. First, let's have a listen to his new single, Optical Illusions. Huge fans this morning. Mm. Uh, we understand that you came up with that video uh, on your laptop at home. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. It was a huge learning curve to learn the technology. It was um, like editing. I love to edit with sound, but with pictures, about five thousand more things to think about, and uh, took a lot. Took a while. But it's amazing now that a laptop computer is is. Uh technologically the equivalent, in fact, superior to the state-of-the-art recording yes. studio t 20 years ago. I did actually ask somebody, wh which, which should I use to get the most power? And they said, probably your laptop. So this thing that's half an inch thick, big as a small book, has the power, as you say, of racks and racks mm. of gear. When you make the music, um, are you, is it all sampling, or do you, are you playing different instruments within the laptop, or what, how, does it how does it work? You've got to play something, because that's what makes it breathe. You know, mm -hmm. and then you start to manipulate it. Um, if you, you could do it all within a laptop. You've got virtual everything. You've mm -hmm. got virtual, virtual synthesizers, virtual guitars, virtual... We haven't got a virtual vocal. We haven't got a virtual singer yet. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can type in the so lyrics. That's your goddaughter, yeah. isn't it, on the... That's my goddaughter on there. Yeah. Uh, I had to kind of uh, persuade her to be in the video, uh, keeping the family, of course, keep costs low. I think <laughs> I had a budget of about £50. Is that right? <laughs> And tell us a little bit more about you, because you've got a classical music background. Yes. Well, so how, how, did, how, did, how did you begin? <laughs> we, we didn't really listen to pop in my household. It was um, mostly Vivaldi and Benjamin Britten. And it was a bit of a sore point at first, because um, I obviously liked pop. Um, but it, it caused some rift, because I think my parents felt a little bit threatened by it. Bless them. I mean, not anymore, of course. But it, it, it was a sort of issue. Well, I, I liked your ad adaptation of Barber's Adagio for Strings, of course, which was some while back, wasn't it? Yes, yes. And it was, um, I realised that you can actually have your cake and eat it. You can, you can make all the sound palette of electronic music and have the beautiful melodies and, and harmonies and not be cheesy, um, I think. I think I, that was my aim. I think, yeah, we I think, mentioned I think uh, the, the very sort of A-list uh, list of people that you work mm. with, Britney, U2 and Pink and Madonna, of course. And I'm just yes. wondering, when you produce somebody like Madonna, what do you do? Do you say, give us that one again, Madge, because you're sort of sl singing slightly off key this morning? I mean, just what is the relationship like? Well, if it has to be said, it has to be said. I mean, everybody needs to. She doesn't require a lot of takes, I have to say. Mm. Uh, usually three, and usually the first one is the one. Yeah. There's always the odd word, and if somebody's got to say it. But she, she, she's uh, very quick to um, admonish herself if she does it wrong as well. So it's yeah. hard to catch her out. She's normally the one who's most researched and most, most ready. Mm. So um, the very fact that she's such a professionalist and a perfectionist means that there's a not, a, not a lot of ticking off. Yeah. Um, my, me personally, I, I, I expect to get ticked off a lot. <laughs> By but the star or, or, or in? The star, it's part of the producer's role. You take it, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. Mm. Um, I remember she, took, she, meant, she referred to me as that rookie for the first half of Making Way of Light. And then after that, things changed dramatically, <laughs> of course, didn't they? Well, it was true, I'd learnt my craft. Um, I, I really learnt more about production I mean, I would say she's a producer as well, and I learnt more, more about production um, going into that project than I ever thought I would. Mm. You know. The music on, on your album is, uh, as it was described, I said, what's it like before I listened to it? And, and I enjoyed it very much. It's sort of ambient. Is that the correct way to describe it? Because is it, it struck me as it, it's sort of... Uh, oh, I've insulted <laughs> him now. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, it's one of those words that... I'm not, I don't do lift music. <laughs> a, one, a better one hasn't come along, but 
in terms of uh, sorry, it's music that you you should listen to while doing something else at the same time. Yeah, dinner parties, for instance. It's not going to it's not going to break the flow of conversation. Mm. Um, uh, you can listen to it totally, you know, full on with your headphones on and, and nothing else. But you can also have it in the background. And uh, ambient is just in the air. You know, it, yeah. it, it's not going to put it this way. It's not going to force its way into your consciousness. You know, like mm. pop pop records are made to be loud. There's like a loudness sort of arms race going on. They're getting louder and louder. I don't know if you put your old... Um, take a record of any five years ago, CD, CDs, you know, which aren't mm. really... You know, you, you, by the way, can I just say, they, I'm supposed to promote this and all that, but this, <laughs> this is great for getting rid of animals in the garden. Two of these up, and they think it's two eyes. You know, I don't know about badgers, oh, but any really? birds oh. that are pecking away at your plants, hang a couple of CDs, okay. and it's like they fly by it, and it looks like two giant... Predator's yeah, eyes. Like an buy several we get two for the price of one. We get Willie Morbit on this morning, and we learn how to get rid of our badges. <laughs> be gone, and uh, and we get to see your CDs. Well, I just buy two everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yes. Yeah, or three, two yeah. for the garden and one to listen to. Uh, it's out uh, May. May the fourth. May the fourth. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Real excellent. pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. John, I'm talking things. I walked the dogs listening to it yesterday. It's very nice. Oh, there you go. The countryside seemed even greener and lovelier. It's Thank not going to distract you from any cars coming, put it that way. No, no. no. And I cooked and shimmied to it yesterday. There Why? You there you go. <laughs> uh, Martin Shaw is going to be here in a second. We're talking to him about...